Welcome back to Access Carolina. When it comes to spring cleaning, there is nobody who knows how to cut through the clutter quite as well as a professional mover. We've got Chris Sweet here from Swamp Rabbit Moving with some lessons you've learned along the way. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad you're here. I know that you've dealt with, you know, all kinds of people in moving from people who have a lot of stuff to just the minimalists. What makes it so hard for people to, to get rid of their stuff, you think? I think it's not having like a plan in place, right? Not like having an action item with like what we're getting rid of no matter what and then that way you have something to stick to yeah. throughout the process. You've got to stick with your plan because of course moving you're on a very specific timeline but when you're just time to summer spruce up, spring spruce up, uh, people aren't as motivated. So you see people uh, in all forms of this process and they have to purge their house before their move. So what's the general rule of thumb, whether to keep something or get rid of it? Yeah, I say if you haven't used it in a year, mm -hmm. it's just been collecting dust to go ahead and get rid of it. Yeah. As, unless it has like some sentimental value to it. Sentimental value and, and place where you can store it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You've got people moving into smaller spaces or bigger spaces, For so that's sure. part of what they have to consider. Um, you've also seen people that, that have duplicates. You walk in and there's there's two coffee makers side by side or, or whatever it is. What do you tell them on that? Just pick your favorite one and let the other one go. Yeah, you gotta donate the other one. There'll be a spot for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, there are a lot of things that tend to accumulate in kitchens. Um, what else might somebody throw out in their kitchen while they're spring cleaning? Uh, old dishes, um, pots, pans, um, stuff that has like stains on it, you know how your pots get like those weird yeah. food stains on them. Just go ahead and get rid of them, and then when you go to move, you can go ahead and get you a new set. Yeah, one less thing to pack. And, and we're talking about the uh, a lot of times people will carry their old towels and pot holders and things that are all burnt up. It's like whether you're uh, spring cleaning or whether you're moving, it's probably time to refresh some of those. Give Absolutely, yourself a little treat yeah. that way. Um, you believe in a hard and fast rule about clothes that don't fit too. What's your philosophy there? Yeah, so if they don't fit you, go ahead and get rid of them and donate them. There's a lot of people out there that could use them, um, and that can wear them, that, that is their size, and I would just say go ahead and, and donate them to a great cause. Yeah. Um, what is it the, that you love about this business? I mean, you must be an organized task planning guy. Absolutely. So my favorite thing about the business is uh, being able to offer a customer service aspect to the moving business, right? Like it's uh, it's an industry that's kind of looked down on sometimes, and I'm here to like kind of set a new tone for the industry. I love walking into a house and like you just see somebody stressed out, and like as soon as you, they see you lay down the red carpets, uh, blanket protect all their furniture, you just see all the stress go away, and that is my favorite part about the job. Yeah, well, I bet I mean, you're a reassuring guy when they're in the middle of some, you know, moving is a Absolutely, stressful situation yeah. for people overall. Daunting task, just like decluttering is. Um, so you help it go smoothly. Uh, anything else just about how you got into that business or what you'd want people to know uh, ahead of a move or spring cleaning tip? Uh, yeah, spring cleaning tip. Um, go ahead and if you are planning to move, go ahead and just uh, devote like an hour a day, a month in advance and just get rid of the stuff. That way you're not tackling everything at one time. Uh, that could get very overwhelming and stressful. And then something to know about Swamp Rabbit moving is when you're calling us, like we're with you the whole process. We're kind of like your li liaison through, through the moving experience. So we're mm -hmm. here to help you with recommendations for other home services and we're here to help you throughout the whole process from start to finish. And I'm sure most people are pretty, pretty diligent and they have their stuff ready. You ever show up to a place and they're not quite packed up? And Absolutely. That's tough. It is tough, but we always come up with a plan of action to make it happen for them. I bet you do. Well, I appreciate it, Chris. Thank you so much for being here. We'll link your access, your contact information to accesscarolina.com so people can find you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.